What's up guys, back with another Twin Motion tutorial. I'm gonna show you how I created this animation using Twin Motion. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is give you a little bit of a tour of our 3D scene. Just kinda of show you what we're working with and some of the 3D assets that we use in our scene to actually make this animation come to life. So I have a few or quite a few uh, 3D objects that I got from Sketchfab. Some of these I actually modeled in myself using Revit. And you can actually check out this 3D scene on my website at renderreboot.com. And just to kind of show you some of the cool things that we use. So I actually modeled this in Revit, but a lot of these 3D assets that you see here was from Sketchfab. So a lot of cool things that I have in this scene and this logo was actually created in Revit as well. All right, so let's get to figuring out how do we create a animation using Twinmotion translators? All right, so the first thing that I wanna do is where do we want to create an animation and how do we get started? So the first thing that I wanted to do was try to figure out, okay, where do I want to create an animation of? Or what direction do I want the camera to create this animation? So what we're gonna do is we're going to create an animation starting here and we're just gonna zoom out. This is gonna be a very simple animation using the translator tools and we're probably going to stop here and we're going to select a few of our objects our picture frames our couch and just use a very simple simple method of creating an animation all right so the first thing we want to do is go to tools and we want to go to animators and translators so you can do rotators as well but we're going to keep it very simple and we're just going to do translators all right so now that we have our translator we're going to drag and drop it onto our scene so as you can see it creates this um tab here that opens up to where we can actually link our objects unlink our objects and we also can uh change our axis our animator axis so we're going to play with the settings here and I'm just going to kind of show you exactly how to create an animation using the translator guys don't forget to smash that like button for me hit the notification bell and also don't forget to uh, check out my website at renderreboot.com I got plenty of 3d scenes there uh, I have some free ones and also have some premium 3d scenes as well all right so now that we have our translator tool on, in our scene, we're gonna start linking this, uh, our, some of our 3D objects to this translator. So you can do several different things uh, to be very creative. You can set each object in, on different translators to kind of set the delay, the timing, the distance. But we're going to keep this very simple, like I mentioned before, um, and just kind of see what results we can get. All right, so let's start linking some of our objects. So we're going to go to object link and I want to uh, simply just click on our couch there. So as you can see, it's going according to our translator and the settings that we have currently. So let's start clicking some other things. Also want to use these images here. All right, we're also going to click our arcade. Not sure why it's creating double, but let's click our bean bag there. Click that again. All right. 
So we have several things that are on the same uh, translator and we can change our distance, which we will change our distance. We're gonna do about 225. And right now we have our animation set on a loop. So it gives us different settings that we can change. We can do it once where if I were to click on once, what happens is now that I have it on once, it's just, it's just gonna go up to the top and it won't come back down. Just to kind of give you uh, kind of what's happening here. So if we wanna select ping pong, it's gonna go back down and it's gonna go up and down. So that's what I want. I want to do the ping pong option here and we're gonna change our speed to one. So now that we change our speed, it's gonna go a lot faster. And I want to set a delay about five seconds. So when it goes up and down, our delay is gonna be five seconds rather than um, the default set seconds. So you can, you can play around with these to kind of create whatever type of animation you wanna create. But like I said, this is gonna be a very quick animation using the ping pong animation. All right, so now that we have our our translators, our objects going in the direction that we want it, going up and down, we are going to now create our animation. So there's gonna be several layers to this. When I create the animation, I'm gonna make some adjustments to the rendering, and we're also gonna do it, uh, make some adjustments to the FX settings, uh, just to kind of make it look better and hopefully get a good animation out of this. So stick around to the end and uh, you'll, you'll learn something. All right, so now that I have my animations going, now we need to determine, okay, what, how do we want our animation to start? So I want my animation to start here. But the first thing we need to do is now that we have that, we need to go to our video tab here and now we can actually add a video so i will click on add a video here so now we created our our first um our first keyframe so now that we have our first keyframe here i want to create a couple other keyframes and hopefully catch that animation going so now that we have that first one there we're gonna zoom out. Let's do, and I want to catch this one. So we'll just go to our plus sign here. So where it says add keyframe to video part, we're gonna add another one. And we're going to slide out a little more. And we're going to add another keyframe here. Okay. So now, as you can see, I have my three keyframes here, and I want to change this to 20. So that's gonna slow it down some, so it won't be too fast. All right, so now that we have that, it's gonna slow down our animation. So as you can see, we're gonna start from the beginning and just create this very simple animation and you will kind of see exactly at the end on how this all came together. So I'm going to press the play and let's just see what we got. All right, so there is one thing that I forgot to add in our translator, which is good. That's fine. We could make some adjustments. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stop our animation here. And the one thing that I did forget was our stairs. So all we have to do is go to our search and we can click on translator here. And we're just gonna go to our link button here so if you want to add any other objects 
that you want to be a part of your animation or part of the translator ping pong effect you just go to link and you can select on that object so right now my computer is saving and again guys always save your work set it on to 15 minute intervals if possible you can do that by going to your your edit here preference and you can also go down to save and here's your option here all right so we have it set to 15 minutes which is great all right so now that we have that let's add our stairs to our animation so we're going to click on our stairs there some of these parts did not go with it it's okay just click it so now you start to see my stairs is moving um, with the rest of the objects so now that we have that now we can go back to our animation so let's test it and see what it looks like Guys, don't forget to smash that like button for me and hit the notification bell. All right, so you see the ping pong effect that is happening and it will come back down here now. All right, so I think that looked pretty good. So now that we have that, you can actually now make some more adjustments. So we're gonna go to our render settings and right now it's just in real time and standard. So what we want to do is click on Lumen and you'll see how cool that is. And we're going to increase our scene detail. And we're going to keep it reflection ray lighting mode. We're going to click, keep it at full and full just uses real time data to calculate our reflections. All right, so now let's increase our quality here and we want our shadows to be accurate. All right, so now we're gonna go to FX and we're gonna make some adjustments there. We'll do 38% saturation. We're gonna do, we're gonna do 45. So here we're gonna put a color gradient on this and I want to do ISM and we're gonna go to filter and we're gonna do line light. So as you can see, I made some adjustments here and these are very vital adjustments to help our animation uh, look really good and give it a higher quality. All right, so we're gonna repeat this same step. So you have to do each keyframe the same. It's not gonna carry on the same uh, settings, render settings that we just set for our first keyframe. So now let's go to our second keyframe and we're going to make the same adjustments. The color gradient. ISM, line light. So now one thing that I did forget is hit render. I'm going to hit lumen. So now let's increase our scene detail. We're going to keep our reflections on full. We'll increase our quality and we're gonna make our shadows accurate. All right, so now let's go back to FX. Okay, that looks good. Let's go to this guy here and let's do the same thing. Lumen. Increase our scene detail. Make sure we did the same thing for the other ones we did. Okay. We got our reflection ray lighting mode on full. We increase our quality. And we're going to set our shadows to accurate. And also, I want to change my bounce, my bounce count. And I will make that adjustment to the other ones because I did not do that. Okay, so let's go back to our last keyframe. Let's go to FX. So we're going to change our contrast to 38%, saturation to 45%. We're going to add our color gradient to our last keyframe. I'll we'll make it ISM. We'll click on our filter and we're going to do line light. Okay. 
so before we export out our video i'm going to make sure we go to video and you can make it a 2k 4k or 8k so i'm gonna make it a 4k all right so everything is looking pretty good so far and let's see how our video turns out all right so now we're going to just hit play So now you can see the filter, the rendering, every adjustment that we made in our scene. And I think it turned out pretty well. So our translator is going and it's doing a ping pong effect and it's gonna come right back down here in just a second. All right, so guys, that's how you create an animation using the translators in Twin Motion. And um, don't forget to hit that like button for me hit that subscribe bell and uh we'll be back with another one